Yo, what is up? What is good? Welcome to the channel. Hope y'all having a great day. Remember, if this is your first time here, hit that subscribe, post some videos every week, and you don't want to miss it. All right, we are back here with another Average Joe versus Pro. Now, the, now, the Pro that I have on today, I've seen him on social media. You probably have too. Um, I've, I've heard only nice things about this human being, not just as a person, but as a human being. So I was excited to reach out to him. I was excited that he answered. So welcome to the channel, Danny Jensen. What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel, my boy. So What's Danny, up? give me a little quick introduction, who you are, name, how long you've been playing pickleball. Yeah, so uh, Danny Jensen, I live out in Scottsdale, Arizona right now. I came out to Florida specifically for this video. I knew it. <laughs> and may maybe a little bit for the APP tournament, but specifically for this video. And uh, yeah, grew up playing soccer. So I played soccer through college. I went to Ohio State. Um, ended my career at Ohio State with a major head injury. So I've had five major concussions. I had to step away from soccer and now I uh, play pickleball. And here I am I love that. <laughs> doing videos. So yeah, he, he, flew in, he flew in yesterday from Arizona. Um, he was DMing me all, while he's on the plane saying we're gonna set this up. He's staying with Hannah, and I said this to Marcel. I feel like any pro that stays with Hannah, there's like a rule like, yo, you, Hannah's gonna tell you, yo, you have to go through Ryan's YouTube video before you can For play sure. in any tournament. So yeah. we're here now. <laughs> so, we know, so we're going average Joe versus pro, best of three. We're gonna interview throughout the, uh, in between games. And I think him and I said we're playing for Chipotle. Let's go. Right, Absolutely. Right, we got, we got you guys on the I'll court. I'm going big on my serve here. Oh, that's why I did it yesterday too. Every <laughs> single time. One zero. Ooh, nice. Ooh, sorry, Jerry. <laughs> oh, two. Ooh. There it is. There it is. He has hands. <laughs> yep. He has hands. Oh, it's long. Cool. There we are. Go across. Nice shot. <clears throat> That's a shot, dude. Sorry. Leave that one. <laughs> Three up. No, 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 no. I'll take that. I can't go that soft. He's too good for that. Thank you, thank you. Oh, three. Oh. Oh, way to get that. You had me. Way to get you had that. Me. Oh. <laughs> I ain't even moving. I was like, <laughs> as soon as I went for it too, I was like, I'm so out. <laughs> oh. No, that's a great return. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Here's six. Oh, yeah. That oh, 06. Oh, man. Oh, he had me beat. I thought I had that too. You had me beat. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Heads up. <laughs> it's good it's to feel like I do something. Oh shit, right in the middle of the point. I know, I know. Zero seven. Or seven zero two. You're good. Oh, oh so wide. Alright, eight. Come on. Come on, Rye. We need a point. Woo, woo. We need a point. <laughs> I'm feeling. You're feeling it? Doubles guy. <laughs> I don't play soccer anymore. Alrighty. Eight. What a shot. Nine. Nine zero. Oh, oh why did I go so heavy? Long. Why did I go so heavy? All right, 10. <clears throat> Again! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh man! All right, so that is my second pickle on the channel, <laughs> and that is after yesterday saying when I was playing Marcella that I've never been pickled before. So now it's happening twice in a row. Okay, so I gotta figure some shit out. <laughs> All right, but so we were talking about it a little bit before the game started. I watched a, uh, a podcast with you and Caitlin Miller. I'm gonna link her podcast down below. Check it out. Um, 
you talked about golden handcuffs. Yeah. And so explain a little bit about that, what it is, yeah. and how what what it meant to you. Yeah, yeah. I did a, um, and this this guy's a good follow on Instagram, Johnny DeJulius. If you see Johnny DeJulius on Instagram, give him a follow, but he's the one that actually introduced this and it was on my own podcast. And basically, what golden handcuffs is, is like it's when, when somebody says someday, right? Someday I'm gonna do this, someday I'm gonna do that, but they're held back by their job. And it's like the, the money, the comfortable lifestyle, all that kind of stuff that, so for me, Johnny was on my podcast while I was like in the midst of this golden handcuffs for my old job, I was doing medical sales. And I realized like, I'm not just gonna keep saying one day, cause if I'm gonna preach it, I gotta live it, right? Like that's just kind of what I gotta do. So I ended up quitting my job like within the next month and uh, went full-time pickle, so. I love that. So obviously, <laughs> so obviously quitting, like you said, that comfortable job, that steady yeah. income, and going into a sport that is still up and coming, especially when you, have you long been playing now, or been pro? On, on, uh, pro about a year. So but. so you probably, you're on it on like, uh, on its rise still. Yeah. So no, there's no guaranteed money, there's nothing like that. So what no. what was that like, like, at the beginning of all, and saying like, I'm gonna make this work no matter yeah. what? Yeah, well, the. The biggest thing for me was that I realized with my job, I wasn't able to train as much as I wanted to. And if you're not able to train how you should as a pro athlete, then there's no way that you can compete with other pro athletes. It's just not possible. And so once I realized that, and that's how it, uh, I kind of came down to it because I don't have any natural tennis skill. I don't have any natural ping pong skill. I never played a racket sport. And so for me, it was like teaching myself everything. It was one of those things that I just had to go all in or I don't think I was gonna be able to make it. And so in the beginning of it, so what what led you to pickleball? Because especially like you said, you're coming from so soccer, yeah. from the Ohio State, one of like a big name school in almost any sport. Yeah. What said like, all right, cool, I'm going to pickleball, where honestly like, pickleball is made fun of a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not necessarily like the biggest guy. I'm not like one of those guys that's going to be like an all-star basketball player or anything like that. But pickleball kind of was one of those things that I just like fell in love with. It was just so fun. And so then because I enjoyed being out here, I enjoyed the training, I enjoyed playing. It was one of those things, it didn't even feel like I was gonna be doing a job, it didn't feel like I was gonna be doing anything, it was just, I loved my life so much, and then now I do it for a living, and it's hard to hard to hate that. No, 100%, I love that you said that. So the fact that you're like, we're, we're gonna get into that second game, but I'm gonna, we're gonna leave off with the fact that you're like, you love your life, because that's another big aspect that I wanna touch on. Absolutely, yeah, I, I absolutely love everything I do, so <laughs> it's it's the best. Game two, hope I get, hopefully I can get one point. Yeah. One zero. <laughs> Danny, 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 Danny. That felt good. You like that one, huh? I do, I do. <laughs> oh, one. Ow. Why is it so heavy, Ryan? <laughs> had me again there. Huh? You had me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, there's gonna be a you had me count at the bottom of this video. <laughs> one zero. Oh. That was it. Oh, one. Oh, there we go. There I needed is. one. There it is. The elusive point. Yeah. Danny, big serves. Two. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that one. Way to hold that. Oh man. Let's go. What is it? 3 1? 3 1. Get up. Come on, Rye. Do four. Yep, three. I'll take that. So I see a few go down. That was a good serve. Thank you, thank you. 3 Back, 4. Back. Oh, Danny. Oh no. Three straight points. Force. Yep, Ooh. yep, yep, yep. You're crossing my feet up already. Make him right. earn it. Come on, inside out forehand. Uh, six, five. Oh! Oh! Right here, big serve, big third. Seven five. Oh, you went for right for that goal, I tell bro. My, I tell myself, big serve, big third, and <laughs> net. I'm five kinda... seven. Oh my! I thought I missed. I thought I missed the return. Uh, believe me, I thought I was going net the entire time. Oh god! Great shot. Oh wait for me to go through. 
Yeah, that's a good call. What a shot, damn it. Yeah, that's especially like in a lot, like anytime I play singles, at my level, I can get away with hitting as hard as I can because a lot of people on my level, they'll go and go for it. Yeah. Playing against you guys, it's like, like no, they know where that shit's at. But like th those last two that go yeah. this way, what am I gonna do? Yeah. If you hit like that, I mean, I have to just be reading it perfectly and get a good ball on. Yeah. But You're right. if not, it's gonna go by me every yeah. time. It's a perfect shot. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. Oh. Long. Oh. <laughs> Nine. Nine six. Nice serve. Woo. Wow. That's the best serve I've had. Not even close. It was right on it. Yeah. I literally stood up like it was going out. I was like, nope, stay down. Came back. Yep. All right. All right, 10 6. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I hate that the most. My serve is bailing me out, though. I know, you know, that's great. They're great, it's... dude. All right, we got six points. So the last two days, that's the most points I've had so far. So like, I'll take it. Like for a while, I was juiced up. I was like, oh, I got it. So oh, I fucking got this. So one of my favorite things you said we, we touched on just before this last game is like, you love your life. Yeah. Across the board on pickleball, everyone says that you are one of the nicest guys on tour, on, on boat tours, PPBA, APP, uh, even the Arizona League too. So what do you, why, how are you so nice? Because especially in a sport, like you're one of those up and comers, you're not at that level yet where you're like, Yo, I'm that top dog. Yeah. And it's easy to get down on yourself. Like, fuck, I need to do more. I need to do more. And that's like negative energy. How do you get yeah. out of those moods? Yeah. I think uh, the biggest thing for me is just that like it's contagious energy. And so anybody that you see have kind of that negative vibe, negative um, mindset, it, they push people away. They're kind of alienating. And so I've just never wanted to be that way. I could, I, you could say that I was a little bit like that in soccer. I always pushed myself a little bit too hard. I always, me, I didn't want, I don't want to say I fully alienated myself, but I definitely was very tough on like teammates and I was tough on myself. Um, and I just like, you know, I'm past that. I'm, I'm grown up. I'm probably matured a little bit. And I just like, I, I love everybody. I love everything. And I play pickleball for a living. So it's, it's kind of hard to be upset. If anybody's upset playing pickleball for a living, they're, they're doing the wrong thing, for sure. <laughs> uh, so the fact that you said that too, like I love it, like there are people that do get upset about it, but I think one of my favorite things is, is seeing you out there. Not just like I said this again, like off camera, you're everywhere, bro. Like there are times like <laughs> I'll be watching PPA, like whether it's a, like a day before, like a, a rebroadcast, like, oh, there's Dan on the sideline. And then I see on social media, like, oh, he's in a whole different city uh, like, with different people. Like, what is it about pickleball that you just like, that you gravitate towards? Yeah. So I would say that it, like, obviously the people are great, everything like that, but like getting out and experiencing kind of what life has to offer, uh, is special. Um, you know, I'm, I've gotten a few opportunities to go do pickleball getaways and coach with a bunch of great people, some great players, coach amazing people that are, you know, living their life and playing pickleball. Um, I've had opportunities to play all around the United States so far and hopefully this year a little bit outside the United States. And so like, you know, not taking these uh, situations for granted, um, being grateful for what I get every day. And um, it's hard to like, I'm trading in Arizona for Florida this week and, and you can't be upset about that, right? So, uh, but it's the people, right? It's the people that I just love to be around. It's the people that I love to, to get to know more about. And then once you get to know some people, they introduce you to others. It's this big, like, it's a contagious thing. Everybody starts talking. And, uh, you know, if you always have good energy, then other people want you around. And that's what, kind of how it leads to it, so. I love that you said that too, because like, like I said, when I first started, when I first started this channel, I was just sliding in DMs. I got one pro and then another pro and then like meeting Hannah, like great friend of the program. Yeah. Like she introduced me to a lot of people. So that connection that you're talking about, that is the damn truth because yeah. not just on the pro side, like I said before, like I want to bring the entertainment side of pickleball to, to the internet and that's what we're doing here. Absolutely. And so speaking of that, like, Arizona's a big spot for pickleball right now. Yeah. Like there are names out there. There are people doing great. There are people like going high in the tournaments. Like what about Arizona is different than other states in pickleball? Yeah. So uh, obviously it's just like being in the South in general, you have, you know, 300 to 320 perfect days of the year to play pickleball. So people in Chicago and New York, they can't really say that. I know you can go indoors, but it's just not the same. Um, so I think that, that really helps to like attract more people. Uh, but I think the other thing is that you just have like a great community who all want to get better. They all have the same goals and they all want to push each other to get to those goals. So for us in Arizona, it's like, it's like a little group that's just, you know, all our eyes are set on being the best pros that we can possibly be. And then on top of that, it's just like, how do you not love training with all these other great players, right? So you go and one day you're playing with 
Augie, who's up and coming, obviously. Everybody's heard his name now. You get Craig Johnson, the best smile in pickleball. You get like all these girls, the Walker sisters. I mean, Daria, you saw what she did out in Sacramento. I mean, um, it's just unbelievable the people that I get to play with and train with. And how do I not want to like see them all do so great? And then, you know, then they're on my side too, right? We're all sitting on each other's benches in tournaments. We're all, we're all just trying to like have the most fun possible. And I think that that like little crew there, it really encourages everybody to be the best they can possibly be. So it's been yeah. fun. No, here's right. Cause I think, like you said, I think it was Augie, like he made his name at the, was it Masters? So with Masters was big, and then the first uh, Arizona was that's right. even bigger. That's right. Yeah. Because uh, like I, yeah. I, I, I remember seeing Augie like in the in the Tuesday Night Pickleball League. Yeah. And then I remember when they said his name on uh, on PPA, like they called him Augustus. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that's his name. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know it was something different. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So what you're saying, like that crew, like the whole Arizona crew, was on the stands watching him, supporting him. I think. Uh, Kyle, he was commentating like earlier in the day, yeah. and he was right there on the sideline. Like, like that support system he's talking about in Arizona is probably one of the realest that I have seen yeah, in pickleball. It's quite fascinating, actually. I think that of all the states I've seen, I mean, Southern California has awesome people. Mm -hmm. Florida has awesome people. Yep. Texas has great people. But Arizona, like, and I, you know what? To be fully honest, we're also super welcoming. Like, if oh, yeah. anybody wants to come out there and play, like, we are all hands on deck like everybody wants to get games with them so it's like that's also fun so you get other pros that want to be there they want to come in and train AJ Kohler comes out and I'm good friends with AJ and so he comes out all the time other players come out all the time and we yep. always like embrace them with open arms yeah believe me I'm gonna be out there playing all everyone for all those Arizona players be ready Kaden I owe you one because I flaked on the last time but I'm gonna be out there Arizona play all of them Let's for the videos I love it <laughs> get it all right so you want you're one of the best of three you have enough time for one more yeah yeah Probably get this game three on. Let's go. Go. exactly <laughs> all right here we go zero all right let's go There it is. Hit that line. Oh, nice there shot. You go. My feet are moving a little bit better. Look at that. Oh, oh no. <laughs> so good. Thank you. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> sorry about that. I hit a good shot. I hit a bad shot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't be so uh. Ooh! Three. Mm. Ah, good ball. Oh, I needed one. Good ball. Yeah. Thank you. Four. Oh, what a shot. <laughs> All right, so sorry, Danny. That memory card got full, it got cut off. So they don't see that I won that one. So we're going to yeah. we're gonna have to run it back. Let's run it back. <laughs> All, right, <laughs> All right, so speaking of that, like you were saying, like you were speaking on singles, like this is your first, like you don't play singles, you mainly do doubles, right? Yeah. So how do you adjust to something that's out of your, like your wheelhouse? So like a few of the things is like, I just have to trust myself. So. People that know me, I drop a lot in doubles. So like, I really want to drop a lot here, but then you're in singles. It's like, you got to put pressure on people. You got to drive a little bit. So it's actually really good for me to play singles because, you know, developing other skills, all that kind of stuff. But I, I do have to trust myself because there's too many times that I could hit a better shot, a, like maybe a smarter shot. And I'm just not, I, I don't trust myself. I'm not fully like engaged in it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's where I like kind of gave up a few easy points where I should have a point. Um, but other than that, I feel pretty comfortable just, you know, it's a little bit different covering the whole court, obviously, but it's kind of also good for the cardiovascular stuff. You're playing different opponents because everyone comes in different, all different shapes and sizes. Like, yeah. How do you know where to attack? Yes. So, I mean, at the pro level, the good thing is that a lot of people have played a lot of people. And if you're friends with a bunch of people, say I get matched up against you in a tournament, whatever it is. I know somebody that knows you or has played against you. <laughs> so usually I can usually get a little bit of intel on somebody. Um, a little bit harder in qualifiers actually because some people just come out of the woodwork and will play you know, you've never seen before and nobody knows. But for the most part when you're playing some of these big time players, you know their strategy, some of their strategy, but you a lot of know their tendencies. Uh, so that always helps. Um, some people just love hitting lines, some people love you know going cross court. but. Sometimes you just gotta trust yourself. Like I said, do your own patterns, make them adjust to you rather than you adjusting to them all the time. Yep. Speaking of like you like
people that know somebody, I feel like you're that guy that knows everybody. <laughs> like, have you seen the movie Two Guns? Yeah. With Mark, like, I know yeah. a guy, Bobby. You're, I know a guy, Danny. Because I feel like <laughs> if if you need anything, you hit up in the pickleball world. You can hit up Danny. I was like, oh yeah, absolutely, I got this. Yeah. <laughs> I tend to I tend to feel like I know a lot of people, but I think a more majority of it is that other people have heard of me or know that I'm kind of approachable. Mm-hmm. And so because I'm approachable, I think a lot of people end up introducing themselves yeah. and then you start, and then like I said, you meet their friends, yep. friends of friends, and it's just like- 100%, because anytime I've gone to the tournament, like obviously I go to the tournament as an amateur, the first time I really approached Danny, like he was very welcoming. Like him and I haven't had really real conversation. We met a couple times, but yeah. he was welcoming. He asked how I was doing, like in the tournament, and like, that's that's this man right here. Like if you <laughs> see it. him, approach him. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate right. it. So we're gonna get another game going. We're gonna get, a, uh, we're gonna get the full court view, so a little, some of the courts opened up, so we can get a bigger view of the court. Let's go, let's go. 2-0. Oh, I think it was out. Oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh. oh, what I didn't a know if it was- <clears throat> Oh, wow. Oh, God. That's a ball. <laughs> oh, three. Oh. Why am I hitting that shot? One three. Stop that. No. Oh my god. I already stood up again, see? Oh gosh. Three three. Oh my gosh, what a shot, dog. That's yeah. <laughs> Remember when I was saying I gotta trust myself a little uh, bit? Yeah. Three. Nice shot. Alrighty. Five three. Ow. Oh, floated. Switch it over. Six three. Too easy. Too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> you like that ball. And I know you like that ball. That is, yeah. Uh six three. Nope. Easy, too easy, too, just lazy. Easy. Gotta do that. Gotta force that shot to that backhand. Three, six. Just out. Six, three. (laughs) Nine, three. Oh, what are we doing, Ryan? What are we doing? Oh. Did Slow I quick serve you? Huh? Did I quick serve you? No, 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 right. no, no. 10 3. Oh. What was that? All right. Danny, he didn't come in. Oh. <laughs> How you going? <laughs> <laughs> Why? I did the same thing. Oh, I slipped. You hit a great ball and I couldn't turn fast enough. 310. I'll there take there's that. Your, there's your point. I need to get off of three. Ah. 410. Oh, what a spot. Wait, hit that backhand again. Wait, hit that backhand again. That was good. Uh, Yo, that was probably, that was more of a defensive game. I feel like, at least on my part, like he was on 10 for, I think, three game points. Yeah. And I was like, all right, just get it back there. Just get it back there. Like, and so I earned it. Like that's this, like, I, I really pride myself on like my cardio. Like I can go for a while, you know, but this one, I was like, oh, fuck, I'm. Uh, so that's the last game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so when you're so like when you're prepping for tournaments and things yeah. like that, like what do you go through? You know, so you recently said like I see you start you start doing like the whole push up things like what Craig started, and then like yeah. but then you took that to another level. Like what are you doing now as far as like outside of pickleball to get ready? Yeah. So, um, so right now I kind of actually like took it upon me to like do a little bit more in terms of like helping my body, help like 
full nutrition and working out outside of pickleball. Obviously, like, you got to train as much as you can on court, but, like, your feet can only stand so long. You can only be out in the sun for so long. You're dead. You're dehydrated. And so I decided, decided instead of spending, you know, there's a law of diminishing returns, right, when you get on court. And so I decided, you know, I'm going to go into the gym. I'm start hitting the gym hard. I'm going to start hitting my nutrition a lot harder. And obviously, like, I still have my fun. I still go and enjoy with my life. But uh, for the most part, I'm trying to, like, buckle down on a few more things. And, and after that, like, you start seeing results pretty quickly, actually, if you put your time and effort into it and you stay consistent. Yeah. And so that's kind of what it's been. I've just been consistent, and now I'm starting to see the results. So it's great. I love that. And then I think, I remember that the first time you and I did be, I asked you, because you were in uh, Pickleball Kingdom yep. reality show, right? Yep. It was supposed to air on YouTube. Yeah. I didn't see it. Yeah. And then I heard other rumors like a uh, network was supposed to pick it up. Yeah. I, I, I saw you and Caitlin talk about it a little bit in her podcast because, like, what is going on with the show? So. For the last I heard is that they signed with the producing company and they're going to get it out there at some point. Um, the good thing is, like, because I can't say too much because it, it ruins the outcome of the show, obviously. And um, But what I can say is that the show's going to be fun to watch. I really hope that they, the people on the show are all great. They're all great pickleball players. And so you get to see, like, some high-level pickleball. But on top of that, you get to see a little bit more of, like, some fun challenges, some fun, like, competition. Obviously, the elimination games are, like, Super fun, super competitive, and uh, and there's some characters on the show. Yeah. Like some of these guys are pretty funny, and some of the girls are just awesome to be around. So it was actually like a really fun experience because how often do you get to be on a reality television show? And then outside of that, how often do you get to like play pickleball on a reality television show? Which is like my favorite thing ever. So <laughs> between right. those two things, it's just perfect. You're not wrong. Cause I think one of the guys that were on there with you was uh, Zach Parks, right? Yeah, Zach. Actually, I reached out to him. Him and I are playing either on his way back up to Jacksonville oh, nice. or anything or I'm driving up there because like there I said go. like we're just trying to get the channel to grow we're just trying to get everyone's story out there because obviously everyone has a different story of how they got to where they are because yeah. I'm pretty sure when we when when we were younger I didn't think I was be doing YouTube. I didn't think I was gonna be playing pickleball. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you didn't think pickleball was a sport, let alone take you to where you're going. Seriously, yeah. Never did I think I was going to play first of all a professional sport. Like I always thought maybe soccer um, after my injury obviously I had to shut that down, but I was like I, I never thought in a million years I'd ever go back into a professional sport. And it's great. crazy. And that's all I want to do. We're just like, sh giving the stories out there. But uh, Danny, thank y'all so much. I owe you Chipotle. You're the man. We'll get that soon. But uh, yeah, I'm going to link all of Danny's socials down below. Give him a follow. Um, anything else you want to say to the people? Just enjoy, enjoy pickleball. I think it's the greatest sport. And I hope that I can keep getting out there and hopefully see all of you guys. If you guys see me at tournaments, please reach out or please say, stop by and say hi. I love talking to people. And uh, I want to hear your stories as well. So thank you guys. Love that. All right, man. All right, if y'all made this far in the video, remember hit that thumbs up. It helps the channel grow. Hit that subscribe. I'm posting videos every week and you don't want to miss it. Um, he's going to APP. I'm going to be going up there and recording videos for people. I'm gonna you'll get some highlights of Danny. But other than that, have a great day. Have a great rest of the week. Catch you on the next one. Peace.